right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Vanderpool. Um, today, we're going to go ahead and we're going to talk about my expectations. And the reason for these notes are twofold. Number one, I want to talk about my expectations. Number two, I want to go ahead and talk about notes and how those are taken and when they are due. So let's go ahead and start with that. So these notes will be turned in the following day. So I give these for homework. You go ahead and take the notes and then you turn them in the following day and they are worth 100 points. In terms of how to do the notes, that really is up to you. Um, you can go ahead and do Cornell notes, Evan notes. I will let you go ahead and make that decision. The main thing I'm looking for is that all the notes are taken and that you do the assessment that is at the end of the notes and that you do the summary that is at the end of the notes. As long as you have all of those things, then you will go ahead and get full points. And full points for notes are 100 points. Now we'll do notes maybe once or twice per chapter. Another key thing to remember with these notes um, is since these um, notes are over YouTube, you can always go ahead and pause the YouTube video if you need more time to copy the notes. So whenever we do these PowerPoint notes, we're going to go ahead and start off with a title slide. So the title uh, is today for today is Mr. Vanderpool's expectations. You're going to take down that title. You're going to go ahead and take down the objective and or the standard. Um, this PowerPoint does not have a standard, but it has an objective. The next PowerPoint will have a standard and an objective. So you go ahead and take down just the standard. So as a general rule in my class, you do not have to take down the objective. You only have to take down the standard. The only exception to that is right now, because there is no standard, you're just going to go ahead and take down the objective. All right, so before we get to this homework here, I want to talk really quickly about the classes you have to take and pass in order to be able to graduate. There really are three courses that you have to pass your senior year in order to be able to graduate. And that is economics, government, and English 12. So be sure um, that you are successful in my class because otherwise it can impede on your graduation. So let's go ahead and go with homework here. Every single day you need to be sure you bring your book, bring a binder, two pencils and pens, and bring lined paper tomorrow and every day thereafter. If you do not bring your book, you are going to be losing points. One thing I do want to mention regarding taking notes is you do not have to take them down verbatim. That means word by word. You can go ahead and summarize. In fact, I encourage that because that allows you to synthesize the notes a little bit better. So I require complete notes, but they can be summarized. All right, let's go on to some classroom rules and rules here. Uh, number one, be in your seat ready to work when the bell rings. So have your pencil sharpened paper out ready to do the warm up when the bell rings. When you walk in, you're going to see a question in the front of the board. It is a warm up question. You're going to go ahead and do that question. I'll give you more instruction on that later. You have about two minutes to do it. I also want to go ahead and talk about tardies. I do um, enforce the school tardy policy. I will close the door when the bell rings. And if I have to open up the door to let you in, you are considered tardy. All right, so let's move on to rule number 
two here, be respectful towards other people and their property. This means doing the obvious things of not swearing, talking back, don't vandalize. This is very important. Um, I expect you to be respectful of others. I expect myself to be respectful of you. So that really is key. I be respectful, you be respectful, everybody learns economics, everybody ends up passing the class, and everybody is happy. All right, for number three, do not get out of your seat without permission. Please raise your hand and wait to be called on to leave your seat. Most of the time, as long as you raise your hand, I will go ahead and call on you, and it is not a big problem. Um, as far as um, the restroom passes, I've got a restroom pass right next to the door. You can go ahead and take that. Only one person can go at a time. If you need to do an office pass, going to the office often takes longer than going to the restroom. So go ahead and um, if you're going to go to the office, get a piece of paper, put your name, put the date, put the time, I'll sign off on it, and then you can go ahead and go to the office. But just be sure that you get my permission before you either go to the restroom or the office. All right, so for number four, it's basically minimizing sidebars. So obviously, if you raise your hand, I call on you, go ahead and give your answer, okay? Do not blurt out. If I ask you a question, you are responding, that's perfectly fine to be talking. If I instruct you otherwise, it's perfectly fine to be talking. Otherwise, let's keep sidebars to a minimum, whether I am presenting something or whether a student is presenting something. All right, so for number five here, when given directions, follow them immediately. That does not mean five to ten minutes later. Number six, be productive. Do your best on every assignment. I will make every effort to do my best to teach you, and I expect you to do your best on my assignments. So, in talking about that, um, a man I very much admire is John Wooden. He was the basketball coach at UCLA uh, during the 1960s and the 70s. Uh, he actually ended up winning 10 NCAA championships, including seven um, in a row. For a very great teacher, um, very great uh, basketball coach. And he had a definition of success that I really liked. He said success is peace of mind that is a direct result of self-satisfaction and knowing that you did your best to become the best you are capable of becoming. I very much believe in that definition. I very much believe that there is peace of mind that comes from doing one's best. So I expect you to do your best and I will do my best as well. And then finally, be sure you follow all school rules. But like I said, overall, it's about being respectful. I'll be respectful to you. You be respectful for me. We learned some economics. Everybody walks. Everybody is happy. All right, let's get kicking here with the discipline policy. So if these expectations are not met, I do have a discipline policy. Uh, basically, what happens is I mark strikes on a seating chart. And every day, I'm going to go ahead and erase those strikes so you have a clean slate every single day. So all right, so. First strike is going to be a warning. Second strike is going to be staying one minute after class. Third strike is going to be detention. Fourth strike is going to be detention and parent contact. And the fifth strike is going to be a referral. Now, remember these strikes are going to be kept on a seating chart. They're erased every day, so every single day you have a clean slate. These strikes are generally going to come from defiance, and if there is something extremely bad that happens, I can go ahead and, and skip strikes. I reserve that right. Um, so, for example, um, if you slug somebody, I'm going to move you directly to the fifth strike. All right, so let's move on to procedures here. 
So classwork homework is given daily, and late classwork homework will be given less than full credit. So this is the way it's generally going to work. For homework, you're going to be either taking PowerPoint notes or you're going to be doing reading questions. Those are going to be uh, brought in the next day. I'm going to check those. Then we're going to be doing some essential questions on the same sheet of paper and then we're going to be doing some book work on that same sheet of paper and then that's going to be due at the end of the period. So pretty much every single day your homework classwork is going to be doing either the PowerPoint notes or the reading questions and then the rest of the stuff I'm going to give you instruction on and we're going to go ahead and do in class. Okay, so you can turn um, late work in. You go ahead and put it in the late work file in the front of my classroom, but it is not given full credit. Generally, it's given half credit if it is late. Okay, uh, so once again, be sure to turn that late classwork homework into the late homework file. If you miss a test, I ask that you make it up within one week, so that way you don't have too much time and you end up forgetting the material. Now, if you do turn something into that late homework file and it is because you have had an excused absence, what you need to do is you need to go ahead and write at the top of the, of the work that you're turning in. You need to write absent on and then put the date before you turn it in. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I will check and make sure you're actually absent on that date, make sure it's an excused absence, and I will give you full credit. Okay, so as long as you put absent on the date and you had an excused absence, I will give you full credit. But if it was turned in late or you had an inexcused absence, then you're going to be, give, uh, be given half credit. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the rubric here. Warm-ups warm are worth 10% of your grade. They're collected at random. Notes, like the notes you're taking right now, are worth 20% of your grade. Classwork and homework includes project, test, study guides, are worth 35% of your grade. And quizzes and tests are also 35% of your grade. Um, grades are posted on the back wall. And check your grades on Illuminate Parent Portal. Now let's go ahead and talk about absences. So we're going to go ahead and look at the weekly calendar or ask a neighbor to find out what you missed. So on the south side of the classroom, there is a weekly calendar of assignments for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. You can go ahead and take a look at that. On the north side of the classroom, there's a daily calendar, but that will only show the assignment for the day. So talk to a neighbor. Um, you can find out what you missed. You can talk to me, but do that before or after class. And you can ask me to get handouts from the daily assignment file before or after class. So uh, the front of the classroom, I have a daily assignments file. It has my handouts from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So if you missed Monday, you can get the handout for Monday from that daily assignment file. All right, so some miscellaneous stuff. Number one, I release the class, not the bell. Before you leave, please clean up your area. Assignments are turned into the inbox. I go ahead and then grade them and turn them into the outbox. Also be aware that I also let you into the class. Sometimes the previous class runs a little long or there's a student that needs extra help. So be aware that I let you into class. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so below where you finished your notes, we're going to go ahead and answer two assessment questions. And for these questions, you just need to put the number, the letter, and the answer for both number one and for number two. So for number one, how often do you need to bring your book? Give me the number, the letter, and the answer. Write that all out. And then for number two, which strike results in a referral? Give me the number, 
letter answer. Remember, you can always pause the video in order to answer the question if you need more time. All right, so you're going to go ahead and do that right below where you finished up your notes. And then below the assessment, you're going to go ahead and do the summary. So for the summary, we're going to go ahead and describe three of Mr. Vanderpool's expectations. It could be any three that stick out in your mind. I'm looking for a sentence per expectation. So that's three sentences about a paragraph. All right, so it's very important that you complete the assessment as well as the summary. Otherwise, you will not get full points. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and check these tomorrow at the beginning of the period, and I will see you then. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.